go going live. So I just go to your page, ano? Oh, uh, tas lalabas dun yung. So mama ya during Q and A, you can also follow the questions dun sa live video. So okay. lalabas in doon. But okay. I will read the questions to you para ano. Uh -oh. Check ko lang ko sa Facebook page natin kung nandoon na siya. Hmm. Wala pa. Naka-record ano? Hindi. Uh, I can record it if oh, you want. Record mo na lang para we have a copy. Okay, pero even if I don't record it, pagkatapos ng video, people can still view it after. Oh, so, ah, ganon. Uh, yeah. Uh, ah, okay. That's good. Mm. Dito gaya ng Zoom na sa office namin. Pag hindi ni record, wala na. Mm. So ito, it just continuously uh, be on my page so everyone can watch kahit tapos na yung live feed. Ah, okay. 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 We can okay. start now, Telina. Mm -hmm. Okay. So magandang gabi po sa lahat. And welcome again to uh, episode 7 of Usapang Batas with Attorney Jean Bagsik. And our topic for tonight is uh, Buying a House in New Zealand Part 2. Kasi if you remember, di ba last week po, uh, naging binata si Kuya Rex, yep. uh, and ang first step is getting your finances sort uh, sorted. Ibig sabihin eh, uh, kailangan mo nang tingnan, tingnan kung may capacity ka bang bumili ng bahay. So ngayon na check nyo na kay Kuya Rex na may capacity kayo, then it's time to look for a house. And of course, the best person to talk to is um, a real estate agent like our guest for tonight. So our guest for tonight is, um, of course, uh, also Filipino, has been in the real estate business for more than 12 years. And she is now currently working sa isa sa mga pinakamalaking real estate agencies dito sa, sa New Zealand, which is Barfoot. And um, she is based in Auckland and she can help you uh, and guide you in looking for the perfect house for you and your family. Mm -hmm. So introducing our guest, uh, si Miss Talina Noval. Hi, Talina. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. uh, Talina, so una sa lahat, maraming salamat for uh, sa sa uh, pagtanggap sa aming imbitasyon para sa ngayong gabi. Uh -huh. And of course, naisipan namin na discuss yung buying house in New Zealand kasi almost every day nasa news yan eh, yung housing market sa New Zealand. So maganda na makita natin uh, from experts kung ano ba yung housing market sa New Zealand. So, uh, uh, Tilina, so you can start on uh, probably, ano ba ang real estate agent Tilina? What do you do? Okay, so real estate agent here, um, we have we have two kinds, the sales and the rental. Mm -hmm. So pag sa sales ka, ang license mo is only to sell. So there are people who calls us na nagtatanong pwede magparent ng house, ganyan. Sa rental department yun. Mm -hmm. Oo. So ibang group yun. Okay, okay. so pag uh, real estate agent, we sell houses. And we can help the buyer to look for a house. Pwede kami yung uh, kami yung tutulong sa kliyente na maghanap ng bahay. Or kami naman yung magbebenta ng bahay mo. Okay. Uh, dito sa New Zealand, iba kaysa compared sa Pilipinas kasi dito meron open home. Ang Pilipinas kasi is wala eh. Parang schedule lang. Gusto mo tingnan yung bahay, kakilala mo lang, puntahan mo na. Dito hindi pwede. Kailangan talaga may rules kami na kailangan mag-make ng appointment. Mahigpit ang real estate institute dito, uh, which is good kasi napoprotektahan yung buyer at seller and the agent as well. Na pw hindi pwede magloko yung agent. Saka regulated yung industry nyo, Thalina, di ba? Yes, I mean, very we regulated. Have, we have to have a license para yes, maging our agent. License has, oh. Yung license namin has to be renewed every year. Mm -hmm. And for us to renew the license, we have to have 20 hours of a training so that's 10 hours of verifiable is a training with the government and then the 10 other hours is trained by your company mm -hmm. so every year yan updated so if you don't attend those and then when you renew you have to pay for your renewal of license 
every year. Hindi ka gaya sa Pilipinas, once may license ka, yun na yun eh. Mm, for life na. <laughs> so, walang continuous education. Mm. So, importante yung continuous education. Okay. Now, going back, I mean, punta kita sa topic natin about finding a house, Talina. I mean, in your 12 years of experience sa real estate dito sa, sa New Zealand, mm-hmm. ano ba yung mga common na hinahanap na mga clients mo? Or even Filipinos, if you have so many Filipino clients, ang hinahanap nila sa bahay. Ano ba yung kinoconsider nila pag naghanap sila ng bahay? Okay. Ang, ang, ang mga kababayan natin, gustong gusto yung brick and tile. Ah, bahay okay. ba to? Bahay ba to? <laughs> kasi dito, kahit ako nung bago ako, hirap na hirap ako maghanap ng bahay kasi puro kahoy. Eh di ba, ah. ang bahay natin sa Pilipinas, pag kahoy sa probinsya yun eh. Mm. Pag sa Manila, sa city, ano yun, mga bato, simento, mm. concrete, di ba? Sa ah. night sa ganun eh. Dito, okay. ang mga puti, gustong gusto yung mga weatherboard, yung mga kahoy. Mm. Oo. Oh. Yun yung para mga... Pakakahoy na patong-patong na gano'n, di ba? Yun yung oh, weatherboard. Oh, weatherboard yun. Tapos oh, yung... And since we're there, isingit ko na rin yung plaster houses. Okay. Wala sa ating gano'n eh. So Uh-oh. dito, uh, because yung, yung condition ng New Zealand is always wet, palagi mo ulan, the winter. So yung kahoy na ginagamit, pag sinay mong plaster, it's not um, plaster. Yung kahoy niya is very thin. Mm. No? Oo, hindi siya yung kahoy kagay weatherboard na hindi madaling masira. Mm. So, yun. So, ang mga bangko, ingat na ingat magpautang sa mga um, bahay na made of plaster, plaster houses. So, Kas- kung kayang iwasan, iwasan yun. Kasi yan yung madalas na tawag ng leaky homes, di ba? Yung yes, mga plaster? Oo. Oh, 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 okay. Madaling pasukan ng tubig. Okay. Mm-mm. So, in terms of yung sa kulay ba? May hinahanap bang particular na kulay ang mga... Mga clients o mga Pilipino sa Wala kulay? Naman. Wala, Wala naman. Wala uh, naman. In terms, ano pa yung mga consider- ma- school ba? Yes, ba naman? oo. Ma- ma- majority, kahit naman, ano, kahit hindi Pilipino, mm. kahit ibang nation, um, ma- gusto nila yung magandang location. So mm. in real estate, di ba, it's always said na sa real estate, location, location, location. Mm. Yun lang. Yun you know, lang. bakit? Kasi kagaya ngayon, when the economy is changing, ang ang unang takbuhan ng mga tao is city kasi doon ang mm. trabaho eh mm-hmm. mm-hmm. di ba pero kung ang bahay mo yung mga nasa Rotorua mga Tauranga uh, hindi hindi ganun kadali ibenta mm-hmm. kasi ang puntahan ng tao nga sa city so location pa rin talaga okay especially mm-hmm. in traffic ng sa Auckland di ba yes ang napakahirap tumira malayo sa trabaho siguro i think hindi nang isa sa mga consideration ng mga pagmumibili ng bahay no yung trabaho din syempre. Oh, ang palagi yan uh, kagaya ang West Area ngayon is very popular because of the train. Mm, okay. Um and then because of all this motorway na na tinayo. So, train station, bus station, kung saan yung madaling kumuha ng ng ride, doon nagiging popular yung place. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, in terms of, di ba may mga kanina discuss natin while we were off air, Telina, yung, uh, yung different titles na mga bahay, I think. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. so just uh, to touch on it quickly, um, sa, again, sa Pilipinas kasi, pag bumili ka ng bahay, isa lang naman ang titulo nun eh. Mm-hmm. Dito mm-hmm. hindi. Meron tayong cross lease title, meron freehold title, may leasehold title. Uh, unit title. Ang unit title, yan yung mga apartment which mm-hmm. tawag sa atin, condo. Mm-hmm. Dito tawag apartment. Uh, unit title meaning may binabayad kang body corporate fees. Mm-hmm. So ang body corporate fees, uh, hinahandle yun ng isang association like Crockers o sinong company ang, ang kinukuha nung, um, nung group ng kanyari, ang apartment is dito sa Uh, Parnell. Uh, it's a one an apartment there. So, babayaran mo most likely in a year mga nasa, ang one bedroom mga nasa 4,000. Wow. Oh. So, dun naman sa body corporate na yon, pag bumili ka ng condo or apartment, we call it, yung body corporate na kasama na dun yung uh, building insurance okay. and then maintenance of the building. Siyempre, pag may elevator yung, yung building, 
Mm. Medyo mas mataas kasi babayaran mo yung kuryente nun eh. Mm. Diba? Yung maintenance. So, yung binabayad mo na yun, para sa comfort mo na rin yun eh. Kasi kung bumili ka ng bahay, babayad ka ng um, amortization mo. And wala ka ng body corporate fee, pero may bayad ka naman ng yung insurance. Mm-hmm. Diba? House insurance kasama. Tapos pag may sira, may maintenance, papaggastos ka rin eh. Pero sa mm-hmm. condo, tatawag ka lang ng building manager. Okay. So may, so, may good points and... So may pros and cons din yung mga apartment okay. versus oh, yung freehold. Kasi yes. yun, kaya sabi mo, mm-hmm. marami nang susuport ng apartments kayo sa cities, di ba usually eh? Dami, so, oh. Pero mura sila compared sa mga yung tinatawag na standalone. Yes. Pero ang laki naman pala ng, ng body corp. Oo, oh, oh, may mga body corp. Sila, okay. Um, yung cross lease uh, uh, Talina and uh, leasehold. Uh-huh. Okay. Discuss so leasehold again, wala tayo nun sa Pilipinas, no? Um, kaya marami sa atin, even nung nagbago ako nag-start dito, medyo na, na lito ako bakit may leasehold. You know, ang leasehold yan yung mga property that belongs to the government. Mm-hmm. So, you own the property, you own the house or you own, own the apartment pero hindi mo pag-aari yung lupa. Mm-hmm. So aside from binabayad mong mortgage, binabayad mong rates, nagbabayad ka pa ng land lease. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, so most of the time, ang leasehold property mura. Minsan mm-hmm. makikita ka ng bahay dyan. Lalo dito marami sa St. John's. At saka yung mga house, mga apartment, mga condo na nasa Viaduct, yung mga ganda, mm-hmm. leasehold yun. Pati mm-hmm. yung Grand Hyatt, yung tinatayo ngayon, yung Hilton, lahat yun, leasehold yun. Ah, okay. Ang masakit sa leasehold, minsan bibili ka nga, ang, ang, ang binabayad mong lease is um, for one year, kunyari, for a one-bedroom apartment is 5,000. After nung lease, pwede maging 10,000 yung lease na yun. Ha? Mm. Pwede mag-increase yun. Wala kang magagawa. Wow. Wow, mahal din pala. Uh, okay. So, Again, I don't suggest to buy leasehold. Lana, first home buyer, stay away mm. from leasehold. Okay. Yeah, so that's leasehold. No? Freehold, yun yung parang sa Pilipinas na pag-aari mo yung bahay at pag-aari mo yung lupa. Mm. Yan yung kunyari yung bahay uh, number 40, um, Remuera Road. Kunwari, mm. no? Ang cross lease is isang lupa na hinati-hati. Mm-hmm. So yun yung bahay na kunyari 40A, 40B, 40C, 40D. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, pag may mga A, B, C, D, Nako, yun alam mo cross list yun. <laughs> Maraming nag-aaway na neighbors dahil sa common driveway, shared exactly. driveway, di ba? <laughs> Oo, yun, yun lang. Kailangan pag cross list. At saka kung ano yung bahay mo, hindi mo pwedeng i-renovate ng ganun-ganun lang. Kailangan magpaalam ka sa neighbor. Mm. So talagang ideally, kung pasok naman sa budget, freehold. Freehold. Okay. Pero ang cross lease naman is driveway lang naman yun eh. Driveway lang. Pero, okay. Sige. Yeah. Now, uh, in terms of yung ano naman, um, di natin natin na banggit ata kanina yung apa- na banggit natin apartment, na banggit uh-huh. natin yung mga brick and tile. Uso uh-huh. din ngayon, Trina, mga terrace homes, terrace yeah. houses. Uh-huh. Anong uh-huh. comments mo about terrace houses? Nice. Ang terrace sa kung sa atin sa Pilipinas ang tawag doon apartment, di ba? Mm. Dikit-dikit kayo, two levels. Mm. Oh, so yun lang, dikit na kadikit ka doon sa neighbor mo, pero okay naman. Pero um, karamihan um, ba? Ano mga freehold ba ang mga terrace houses? Oh, freehold ang terrace houses. Okay. May leasehold din ha. Dito mm-hmm. sa Parnell, marami. Yung yung mga townhouses ang tawag dito, mga terrace houses, townhouses na malapit sa train station ng Parnell, mm-hmm. lahat yun, leasehold yun. Yung, I mean, for the benefit of our viewers, yung terrace houses, yung mayroon kayo mga common na walls, di ba? Yung oo, oo, parang, oo. parang, parang dikit, kami partition, dikit. parang gano'n. Oo, dikit, <laughs> dikit kayong gano'n, tapos may parking ka, may konting garden ka sa likod, maganda yun. Mm, okay. Oo, yun, walang body corp yun. Walang body corp. Okay. Now, um... About naman sa, uh, of course, we're in Auckland, di ba? Yeah. So, in terms of suburbs, mm-hmm. ano ba ngayon yung mga usually parang hot sa market? Or for Filipinos, total Filipino naman tayo, ano ba yung sikat sa mga Pilipino na mga suburbs or area? 
Uh, ang Filipino kasi they want yung mga anak nila nag-aaral sa Catholic school. Mm-hmm. So, ang alam kong palaging hinahanap is Flatbush because of that Santa Maria school. Mm-hmm. Catholic school kasi yon. And then maraming Filipino ang nakatira sa North Shore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so pag Filipino more of North Shore yan, um, Flatbush area. Now marami na rin sa West area kasi affordable na. And like I said nga, maganda na yung mga motorway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ang okay. Filipino naman, um, nagkakaiba lang sa mga Kiwi is, ang Filipino, most of the time, gusto nila yung bahay malaki. You know, mm-hmm. um, kahit malayo sa, sa work nila, kaya naman nila mag-drive, mas gusto nila yung pag umuwi sila, maganda yung bahay nila. Pag mm-hmm. weekend, pwede sila mag-barbecue, pwede mag ng mga kaibigan. Mm-hmm. Pero kahit na malayo, okay lang. You know? okay. Mas ano sila sa, sa laki ng house, yung convenient ng house, kaysa yung, yung location. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Kasi let's say, kung ano, sa 700,000 ngayon, kung dito ka sa Auckland City, ano lang yun, two bedroom na apartment lang yun. When I say apartment, condo yun. Mm-hmm. Yun lang mabibili mo sa 700,000. Pero kung lumayo ka, pumunta ka ng Manuriwa, makakabili ka ng three-bedroom na house sa 550, 600. Mm. You know, okay. if you go to Takanini, ayan, mga 700, magandang three-bedroom house na yun. Mm. Yeah. Ngayon, if for example, eh, gusto ko magharap ng bahay, uh, Telina. So, ah. uh, ano bang pupunta? Mga websites ba? Or you go directly to the agent? Or... Uh, paano ba? Ano bang, kung ako gusto magkaroon ng bahay, uh, how will you guide me to look for a house? Okay, so I would suggest first and foremost, punta ka muna sa bank mo o mortgage broker mo at magpa-approve uh, ka muna. Mm-hmm. You know? um, kasi mahirap, marami kasi kami, like pag nag-open home ako, maraming pumunta sa open home, nagugustuhan yung bahay, tapos pag tinanong ko, may, nagpa-approve na kay sa banko, hindi pa. So, mm. chances are, mafo-frustrate ka eh. Pag nagustuhan mo yung bahay, worth 700, tapos makuha mo yung approval, 600. And then, ma, ngayon, na may approval kang 600, papakita ko sa yung mga bahay na 600, syempre, hindi na, hindi na kagandahan yun. <laughs> hindi mo kang 700. Diba? <laughs> so, okay. mafo-frustrate ka eh. So okay. it will take a long time na makakahanap ka ng gusto mo kasi nasa isip mo na eh, yun yung gusto kong bahay eh. Yung emotion okay. mo, nag-ano na, nag-set in na yung emotion. Okay. So magandang tip yun ha, ah, mga viewers, na get a pre-approval first Oo. para malaman mo yung capacity mo, kung ano yung yeah. budget mo. Oo. Tapos, then you go to an agent or look for a house para yeah. alam, be Oo. realistic, di ba? Yeah, be realistic. And then um, a lot of our clients also, a lot of our um, uh, buyers, akala nila pag gumamit sila ng agent to help them look for a house, magbabayad sila dun sa agent. Hindi. Mm. Wala silang babayaran. So kunyari ako, kunyari ikaw, Jean, you mm. wanted to buy a house. Tatawagan mo ako, sabi mo, Thelina, tulungan mo naman ako, gusto kong bumili ng bahay. So I will meet up with you and then I will discuss, kasi sa Barfoot, We have a lot of booklet, uh, what to do when you buy a house, step by step. Mm-hmm. Ano yung mga terminology when you, buy, when you sign a contract, step by step. Andun lahat. So I have that. Mm-hmm. I can give that to you. Yun na yung babasahin mo tuwing gabi, mm-hmm. <laughs> bago matulog. <laughs> oh, oh. So di ba, when you go through that, then I can give you a sample of a contract. Mm-hmm. Ganito yung itsura ng contract, ganito tayo mag offer So I do all of that. Para pag nakakita ka na ng bahay, pag nakakita na tayong bahay, alam na natin ang gagawin. Hindi na tayo nagugulat. Mm-hmm. ba? Diba? And then wala kang babayaran sa akin because ang, ang, ang magbabayad sa akin, yung may-ari ng bahay. So let's mm-hmm. say I'm with Barfoot and Thompson, Jean. And then you say, Telina, gusto ko yung house na yun. Eh, that, ang, ang agent ng house na yun is Ray White. So I'll call the agent. I'll talk to them. And then kam, kasi kami sa Barfoot uh, as agent, meron coming website, we can get in and we can know everything about that house. Sinong may-ari ng bahay, kailan niya binili, magkano niya binili, 
kanino siya nakautang. Alam mo yun, mm. lahat yun. There's mm. no confidentiality at all. Mm. Everything about the property is public knowledge. Mm. But as an agent, we have that access because we have the code to get in there. And then mm. I can now help you. Na, oh, ganito lang binili nung may-ari, 400 lang nung 12 years ago. So mm. even at 600, magandang kita na yun. Mm. Diba? Mm. Which kung didiretso ka sa open home, sa listing agent, hindi naman sasabihin sa'yo ng listing agent yun. Mm. Because ang loyalty ng listing agent is dun sa vendor niya, yung may-ari ng bahay. Yep. Diba? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So ang, ang, ang listing agent, let's say yung Ray White, ang, may, ang agent ng bahay na gusto mo, Jean, wala siyang, wala siyang pakialam kung makakatawad ka o hindi. Ang gusto mm-hmm. niya, top price. Dahil yun ang trabaho niya eh, mm-hmm. para sa may-ari ng bahay. Mm-hmm. Pero ako, as your agent, ako makikipagtawad. Mm-hmm. Kami nung agent ng Ray White ang mag-uusap, o oh, ito yung offer ko. Ako magra-write ng offer for you. And then I will discuss with them yung agent ng Ray White of that house doesn't even have to meet you. Mm. Ako lahat yun. Okay. You know? And then kami mag-uusap kung sasabihin ng Ray White, o oh, sige, kung, kung mabibili ng client mo to, we'll give you 20% or 30% mm-hmm. of the commission. So kami yung nag-uusap. And same din sa amin. Pag mayroon akong bahay na binibenta, marami. Pupunta Harcourts, Ray White, Baileys. First mm-hmm. day of open home, tatawag na yon. Pwede ba kami magdala ng kliyente namin? Okay. So, ginagawa talaga namin yun. Okay. Uh, Tilina, kasi kung alam ba nga, titingin ka sa mga house listing, di ba? Yes. Maraming terms na nakasulat, like yung merong price by negotiation, merong yes. auction, merong tender. Can you explain yung mga differences nun, uh, Tilina? Okay. So, ang... ang, ang... Most of the time, kaya auction, first home buyer, mahirap mag-umate ng auction because ang mm. first home buyer, i-require ka ng bank niyan eh. We want to see the contract muna. Mm. You know? And then ipapabuilder's report mo pa yan. Ipapavaluation report mo pa yan. Lahat yan i-require ng banko mo. And you cannot do all of that before you attend an auction. Ang auction kasi once nag-open home, in three weeks, auction na yun eh. So in that three weeks, You don't you, you won't be able to do all of that and even if you can do a builder's report and evaluation report chances are hindi mo alam kung mananalo ka sa auction. Eh kung Kataasan sa dun, diba? Oh, sa bin sa ng bangko mo 650 ka lang maximum na yan. Mm. Eh pagdating sa auction, nagbid kayo at umabot ng 680 mm. hanggang 650 ka lang. So hindi mo na bili yon and then gumastos ka na ng builder's report. That's mm. what 750 dollars uh, valuation report that's around ganun na rin mga 700 na rin yun mm-hmm. so easily nakaka 1,400 1,500 ka tas talo ka gumastos ka na hindi na gumastos ka hindi na pala sa'yo so uh, it's advisable sa first home buyer ang mm-hmm. auction is more on people na nabenta na nila yung bahay nila ready na sila bumili mm-hmm. sometimes kasi in auction makakuha ka ng good deals eh lalo na kung nagmamadali yung may-ari mm-hmm. na ibenta. Mm-hmm. You know? At kasi ang auction, once na nanalo ka, nag-raise ka ng hand at nanalo ka, sold na yun. Ha? Hindi, hindi mo na pwedeng sabihin, ay hindi ako in ng bank. Ay, sira pala yung bubong, kailangan mo ayusin. Walang ganun yun. As mm-hmm. is yun. Yan yung auction yun, di ba? Yung sold by the hammer, di ba? Yung yes. Yung Oo. Mm-hmm. So wag na wag ka nga atin at nag-raise ng hand. The, and because I have encounter a few lumapit sa akin nag-raise ng hand hindi pa pala siya na-approve eh yung kumakamot ng ilong ano na ba <laughs> di ba yung, nakita na sa TV di ba pag auction <laughs> yeah, nagaganan nagbibig na pala di ba <laughs> oo pwede, <laughs> pwede, pwede, pwede. pwede pwede ba yun <laughs> yeah so price by negotiation walang pressure di ba kaya hmm. namin ginagawa yun as agent is gusto namin mag-submit ng offer ang ang buyer kasi mm-hmm. minsan ang vendor, yung may-ari ng bahay, masyadong mataas yung hinihingi niya. Mm-hmm. Let's say ang pag kami agent sa sabi namin, okay, yung house mo is worth 800. Ay hindi, gusto ko isang million. Mm-hmm. Hindi naman kami pwede makipagtalo eh, di ba? <laughs> oh. Sige, pagbigyan, gusto ko isang million. Hindi, hindi ko ilalagay isang million kasi walang pupunta sa open home. Mm-hmm. Gagawin ko ngayon as an agent, lalagay ko sa trade me from 800 to 1 million. Mm-hmm. So, mm. pag nag-search ka, 
ng 800, makikita mo yung house na yon di ba? Mm-hmm. So, lal- pupunta ka ngayon sa open home, mag-o-offer ka. So, pwede, ganun. So, minsan mag-o-offer ka ng 800 o 750. Kaka-negotiate, kaka-negotiate, nagkasundo kayo ng 850. Mm-hmm. Oh, wala na na yung isang million na yon Kasi hindi naman talaga worth 1 million yung bahay. Mm-hmm. Yun ang price by negotiation. Mm-hmm. Ibig sabihin, gustong, gustong ibenta pero masyadong mataas ang gusto ng may-ari. Kaya yung agent, ayaw namin ilagay yung presyo. Okay. How about yung tender? Ano, ano ba yun? Ah, uh, ten, oh, okay. Tender is, we hardly do that now. Tender is parang auction pero may condition. Mm-hmm. So pwede doon ang first home buyer. Okay. So, kunya, sabihin the tender uh, tender closes on May 30 at mm-hmm. 4 p.m. So, mm-hmm. pwede ka mag-submit ng offer. It's in a contract um offer, kunya, 700 subject to finance, subject to builder's report, pwede. Mhm. Uh, pero pero close 'yun, I, yung offer na 'yon, ilalagay sa envelope, isi-sealed 'yon, tapos isa-submit mo 'yon. Okay. May ganun pa. Secret. Oh, secret so it's secret a close. It's, okay. Nobody knows kung ano yung offer mm. mo. Yun lang. Oo. Hindi, once binuksan na yung yung offer mo, hindi ka na pwede mag, mag-change ng mind. Hindi mo na mm. pwede. Ah, pwede ko dagdaga ng 2,000. Minsan natatalo ka ba? 1,000 lang eh. Nangyari, mm. apat yung nag-submit. So, pipiliin ngayon ng may-ari kung alin dun sa apat ang gusto niya. Mm-hmm. Pero ngayon, meron mga very few na mga listing sa nakasulat yung presyo, di ba? So, yes. ibig pa sabihin nun, tawagang malay agent, uh, you're willing to buy yung ganong presyo, then magkakasundo na kayo? Ganon ba yun? Pag- Oo. Oh, but don't be fooled by that. Mm. Pag sinabi mong 750, hindi naman taga 750 yun eh. Mm. Pwede naman yun 740. Or 700, so, pwede pang ihagel kung baga. Oh, pwede oh. pang tawaran. Oo. Oh, oh. mm. Pwede pa rin. Lahat yan, pwede. Depende sa condition mo. Mm. When I say condition, kung maganda naman yung condition mo, kunyari, uh, Jean, ikaw nag-offer ka, ang gusto nung may-ari, 750. Nag-offer ka ng 730. Pero ang condition mo lang is five days uh, finance condition, yung ma-approve. Mm. Uh, Kasi na-pre-approve ka na eh. Mm. So, mm. gusto lang naman ng banko makita yung kontrata eh. So, kung five days finance ka lang at saka five days builder's report, yun lang. Again, mm-hmm. somebody na nagbigay ng 700, kanya, 735 ka, tapos yung isa 745, mas mataas siya. Pero ang dami yung condition. Mm-hmm. You know, like mag-move in siya in three months time pa kasi bibenta mm-hmm. pa yung bahay niya. Subject to the sale of their house, subject to finance condition, subject to builder's report. Ang daming kondisyon, ang pipiliin nung sa'yo. Mm. Because Now, done speak, deal yun. Speaking of conditions, Talina, yeah. mm-hmm. pwede mo explain sa amin kung gaano ka-importante yung builder's report yes. sa pagbibili ng bahay? Yes. Um, in any bank now, if you're a first home buyer at ang, ang borrowing capacity mo mataas at ang deposit mo, I would think less than 20%, uh, I believe the bank will require a builder's report Mm-hmm. Why? Because the bank wants to know that what you're buying, that house, has no major problem. Mm-hmm. Okay? And I always suggest that sa buyer ko. Minsan kasi makapagtipid, magkano builder's report ngayon? Minsan may 650, minsan may 750. So it's ranging from 650 to 750, I think, mm-hmm. ha, unless nag-increase na naman sila. Um, they, the builder... Again, kasi hindi, hindi gawain sa Pilipinas yun. So yung builder, pupunta dun sa bahay, akit siya sa bubong, titignan niya yung bubong, titignan niya yung lahat ng electrical wiring, titignan niya yung plumbing. Lahat, 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 lahat about that house, titignan niya. Mm-hmm. Ultimo, yung doorknob, sira ba yung doorknob? Yung washing machine ba, sira yan? Yung gutter ba, barado? Lahat yun. Ilalagay mm-hmm. niya sa report yun. So ma- alam mo na, Ah, yung bubong, okay. Pero yung gutter, sira na. Malapit ng mm. kailangan palitan. Alam mo. So, mm. pag nag, nag, binili mo yung bahay, alam mo na ito, 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 mga kailangan ayusin. Ngayon, kung major, when I say major, may leak yung, yung, yung wall, no? Sira mm. yung wall. Or um, one of the major na malaking gastos is yung bubong. Ang mm. bubong kasi pag nagpalit ka ng, ng yero dito, 
mga nagre-range between 10 to 15,000 na. Eh. Wow. Yes. Ang mahal. Oo, so kung kung alam mong sirain yung bubong niya, then you can now re mag renegotiate ka with the mm -hmm. vendor. Let's say mm -hmm. kahit nagkasundo na kayo nangyari sa 600, you know, pero sirain yung bubong eh. Mm -hmm. So yung ad ahente ngayon mag renegotiate o papakita yon sa submit mo ito yung builders report oh mm -hmm. ito yung mga sira minsan sa 10 na sa 10 items na mga kailangan ayusin yung may-ari ng bahay pipili siya minsan mm -hmm. dalawa lang yung pinaka major lang mm -hmm. o minsan sabi niya ay nako hindi na lang i-discount ko na lang sa iyo 5000 bahala ka na mag-ayos may ganoon mm -hmm. but at least alam mo mm -hmm. yung binibili mo di ba Kasi I've got clients, madalas to, Jean, uh, and it's still happening. Mm -hmm. um, recently, I sold a property. No? Uh, binili niya yon hindi sa akin. Uh, Filipino family rin. Nagmamadali. Maganda yung bahay eh. Halos brand new eh. Mm -hmm. Binili niya. Um, and then now, binibenta ko. Five years pa lang. Ha? Ang daming mm -hmm. problema. Mm -hmm. Ang dami. Sabi ko, ba't hindi mo ba alam to? Nung binili mo, hindi ka nag-builder's report. Hindi eh. Kasi mm. maganda eh. Kaya huwag kang mapapadala sa sobrang ganda ng pintura, sobrang mm. ganda ng furniture na nilalagay. Huwag. Kahit sobrang ganda, meron at meron diferensya yan. <laughs> Nangan alamin natin. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pero kumpara sa new build, uh, Telina, di ba may builder's guarantee? May tam uh -oh. Tama ba? Uh Oo, -oh. may builder's mm. warranty. Again, yan sa mga warranty na yan, nakakatakot din. Kasi may mga builder na mag, magbibuild sila ng mga limang bahay, Chinese, they mm -hmm. bring their people here, nag-build, oh, may builder warranty. And mm -hmm. then umalis. <laughs> Nasira after five years. Sino ang habulin mo? Mm, okay. Okay. Diba? Now, um, ano pa ba? Um, in terms of... Um, Yung mga rooms, uh, Telina, in terms of finding, di ba may mga, in terms of how many rooms ang bahay, uh -huh. may rules ba ang government or ang council in terms of kung ilang membro ka sa pamilya, dapat certain number of rooms ang bahay? May ganun ah, ba? Ah, wala naman. Wala naman ganun? Wala naman, oo. Hmm. Eh, mga Indian nga eh, inaayos pa nila yung garahe. <laughs> di ba? Doon yung, dun yung hmm. family room eh. Okay. So, once you own the house, it's up to you na what you want to do with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sige. Um, ano pa ba? Yung market now. A lot of people... Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. Me. Tanina, oh, go for it. Ano ba yung current situation ng, ng house of market? Yes. Buti ko makalimutan. That was oh, the, the kasi a lot of people, magaling kasi, marami kasi masyadong nagiging expert sa real estate during lockdown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Um, so kami, uh, we just went back to the office itong Monday lang. But during lockdown, we were working from home. So nag-Zoom meeting din kami, Zoom training. So mm -hmm. we've been attending a lot of training with Barfoot and Thompson just so we get updated uh, on what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, surprisingly, during lockdown, all the property na advertised on Trade Me, we were getting offers. Mm -hmm. Even if they cannot go out and view the property, they still make an offer. It, nagkakasundo sa presyo and then pagdating sa condition subject to viewing of the house mm. so me, when i say that subject to viewing of the house kay nagkasundo kay sa presyo may condition may finance condition may builders report pero kung okay lahat yun na approved tapos hindi mo na gusto yung bahay cancel yung contract wow. that was the condition during lockdown mm. so mm. after that um, i did not have any during the lockdown because i've sold all before the lockdown Mm -hmm. um, but in our office, a few of the agents had those contracts. And as soon as nag level three, they were able to go out and view, di ba? Mm -hmm. Naging mm -hmm. unconditional lahat. Mm -hmm. And then now, starting nung last Thursday, all the offers we've been getting pre auction offer, meaning uh, hindi pa nag auction, may nag offer ng, ng napakaganda. When you mm -hmm. do a pre auction offer, cash unconditional na yon, meaning mm -hmm. pre approved, na approved ka na, uh, at bibili mo na yon. Mm -hmm. And for them, for an owner to accept a pre-auction offer, it means ang ganda ng presyong binigay mo. Mm -hmm. Diba? Mm -hmm. So, yun. We get pre-auction offer every day now. Multiple offer, that's another one. 
I need to explain that meaning yung bahay, isang bahay, maraming may gustong bumili. So lahat yun, sasabi ng listing agent, o oh, sige, since multiple offer situation tayo, tomorrow at 4 o'clock, magsasubmit ka ng offer mo by 4 mm. o'clock, before 4 o'clock, dun sa opisina ng Barfoot, let's say Barfoot uh, Manuriwa, Barfoot Papatowi, kung saan man yung listing. And then, mamimili ngayon ng may-ari, bubuksan nyo ng manager. Mm. Kung mm. lima yun, bubuksan yung lima, kung sino yung pinakamagandang offer. When I say again, pinakamaganda is pinakamataas, pinakakonti ang kondisyon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in short, what I'm trying to say is the reason why we're getting multiple offer all the time now is we don't have enough stock. Mm -hmm. So if people are saying, ah, maghihintay na lang ako, bababa din yun. I Honestly, I don't see it coming down at all. Why? Remember when um, our prime minister say na we have so much Kiwi coming back. We are now over 5 million, right? Mm -hmm. 5 million, 1,000 something. And then the chunk, kasi ang Kiwi every year, ang dami umaalis eh. They mm -hmm. go to Australia, they go to UK, kung saan saan para magtrabaho. Mm -hmm. This year, wala eh. They're all here. Mm -hmm. So walang lumalabas and yet ang daming dumarating. So mm -hmm. saan titira mga yon? Mm -hmm. And remember, before this lockdown, the labor government was saying already, yung mga Kiwi build, yung mga government housing. Yes. Up to now, hindi pa rin nila natatapos, Dominican hindi nila natawa. Okay? So how do you think that can happen this year? Lalo na ang daming migrant na mag-uuwian na. So I got several developer uh, clients that are not looking at building at all. Why? It's getting too expensive. It's very difficult for them to get a loan now. Mm -hmm. And the workers, again, Nasana. Na? Like mm -hmm. Jin, marami tayong Filipino workers na builder. Some of them might be going home, you mm -hmm. know. Um, so there's a lot of uncertainty in building houses. So what I'm saying is, kung walang nagbi-build, paano tayo magkakaroon ng, paano bababa ang presyo? Yeah. Yung shortage, Nandun ganun pa rin. Pa. Nandun pa rin yung shortage. And, Nandun pa rin ang shortage. Uh, mm -hmm. And especially now, Trin, nasa news ngayon yung mga maraming mga projects on hold. Yes. And then maraming mga construction companies na nag-fold. Exactly. And, Fletcher na lang. Yeah, it's a very yeah, big Fletcher, company. Yeah. You know, they, mm. how many... How, in, in Stonefields kasi yung office namin, Gene, yung bong development na yun was owned by Fletcher. Binenta na yun. Mm. They, they sold it to another company before the lockdown. Wow. Ah. Mm -mm. Okay, so a lot, a lot of big companies um, are not gonna continue in building property. So we we won't we won't be. I don't see at all that property will drop. Okay. Now, if you don't mind, Telina, punta tayo sa mga questions na yes. okay, sure. na mga viewers. Okay. Uh, first is si Querex. Hello, Dao. Hi. <laughs> Hi and then from Alice. At yes. Alice, hi Alice, at Alice, uh, question niya, if you are the agent of the buyer, mm -hmm. how much do you charge if you are going in between? Ah, okay. Buti na lang natanong. Again, wala po. Um, wa kung gagamit kayo, let's say, uh, tatawagan niyo ko, sabi mo, Thelina, tulungan mo naman kami. I have all this booklet na piniprint ng Barfoot that I can give you in some of the training, uh, in some of the training session, I bring that and then I give it to client. No? Lahat yun, andun lahat yung step by step, what to do when you buy a house, and then pag nag-inspection ng bahay, ano yung mga titignan mo, lahat yun, andun, pati yung mga terminology, um, sales and purchase agreement, um, yun know, mga condition terms, lahat yun, andun din sa book, which I can give it to you for free. Okay. And then you don't pay me anything. Like I said, if you call me and say, Thelina, Tingin naman tayo ng bahay sa Mount Wellington. May pre-approval na ako. Sige. So papadala ako sa yung mga listing. Titingin tayo. So I have to go with you sa open home. If you go alone kasi, magre-register ka. Once nag-register ka, yung listing agent ang ahente mo. I cannot come in after that and help you. Bawal yun. So I have to go with you and look at the open home. At once may nagustuhan ka, mag-offer tayo. You don't pay me anything. Mm -hmm. Ang magbabayad sa akin, kami nung ahente. Mag-uusap kayo ng listing agent. Mag-uusap yes. kayo ng listing so agent. Kung, 
kung yung agent na yun, eh, let's say Barfoot and Thompson, so kami ng Barfoot and Thompson, nung branch na yun, ang maghahati. Okay. Kung Ray White yun, then Ray White will tell me, okay, Selena, I'll give you 20% referral. Mm -hmm. It's not much, but nakatulong tayo. Yes. Di ba? Ang yes. importante naman dun is, hindi kayo malagay sa alanganin. Kasi marami po, ganun eh, yung didiretsyo dun sa listing agent, gagawa ng kontrata, hindi nila nilalagay yung kondisyon. Basta na lang yung presyo. Ang kondisyon ang importante, kung paano mo ilalagay yun. Kasi yun ang magpo-potect sa'yo eh. You know, ang listing agent, hindi nila problema yun. Ang problema nila, ibenta yung bahay. Hindi ka nila tutulungan. Hindi ka nila sasabihin, o oh, ilagay mo to, ilagay mo yan. Bakit? Pag ginawa nila yon, iba ka mag-fail pa yung, yung contract na yun. Yeah. Kasi yeah. objective nila, mabenta yung bahay, madispose yung bahay. Yes, because ang kliyente nila is yung seller. seller. Okay. Yun ang loyalty nila. Mm -hmm. diba? mm -hmm. So if I come in and I help you, ang loyalty ko na sa'yo kasi ikaw yeah. yung client ko. Eh. And True. again, you don't pay us anything. Okay. Ang, ang, ang seller ang nagbabayad po. Okay, good to know. Uh, tinanong din natin, Alice, close tender. I think na-discuss natin yung what is a tender. Uh, Follow-up question niya, uh, Selena, what happens if a buyer won in the auction, mm -hmm. uh, which you said is good as sold, yes. paano kung may sira or problema yung bahay? Ay, <laughs> wala, wala na magagawa. Wala na magagawa, wala di ba? Wala na magagawa. Sa'yo na yun eh. Sa'yo na yun. Sa'yo na yun. Kailangan, eh. oh, in-inspection mo yun bago ka nagpunta sa auction. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Wala nang bawian yun. Okay. Kung hindi mo mababayaran, madidemanda ka. Okay. Now, uh, nag-thank you lang si Benji. And then si Melds, sabi niya, uh, Hi Melds, depende sa rooms po ang builder support. So, uh, ah, have you dealt with a, build, uh, a builder support company, uh, um, Talina, on ano? how much usually charge ng mga builder support? Oo nga eh. Um, kasi I, 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 I don't really... Uh, deal with builders, no? So I wouldn't really know. But tama yun. Kung gano'ng kalaki yung bahay, depende yun. Kung, and also sa builders report kasi, ngayon, may mga builder na um, sinasabay nila yung moisture testing. Mm -hmm. Ang moisture testing is that's when you know kung, kung basa yung bahay. Kung mataas ang water reading, big sabihin, may leak ka. Okay. Speaking diba? of Testing, uh, Thalina, mm -mm. meth, is, yes. that, is that a requirement now or is that an extra? Um, I don't think bank requires that. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Um, it's up to you. You know, uh, ang meth report, if you feel, if you're buying in, in areas na you feel is not a good location at nakita mo puro gang yung mga katabing bahay, eh, tapos rental yung property, I would recommend that you do a meth test. Okay, so yung mga signs, kumbaga. Yan yung mga signs. Oh. <laughs> okay, Kasi good to know. Kasi mahirap rin naman na bilhin mo tapos contaminated yung house. Maapektuhan okay. naman yung health mo. Oo. Okay, uh, comment lang from Melds uh, about builder support. Not yes. supposed to check daw yung mga electricity and plumbing kasi hindi daw sila qualified mm -hmm. but definitely needed. Yes. Okay. Hi, hi kay Morgan, Melds. <laughs> and then, um, Kuya Rex, Chinese daw talaga. Nag-mention ba tayo about Chinese? Hindi ko matandaan. <laughs> And then, um, now, also from Mails, okay, I think mostly comments lang. Ito, question. Um, from Victor, uh, Thalina, yes. query lang po tungkol sa first home grant. Paano po pag yung income is nasa 85,000 mark? excluded by yung first home grant? Would you know the answer to this? I, I wouldn't be able to answer. That would be sa bank. Sa Kuyarek. Oh, oh, sa Kuyarek. 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 New Zealand okay. home loans. Give them a call. They can okay. help with that. Yes. Okay. Sabi ni Ate Alice, avoid insider trading. Meron ba insider trading sa housing market? What Please. does she mean by that? Hindi ko alam. <laughs> okay. From, question from Supling. Oh, buy and sell. Oh, so question from Supling Filipino. Mm -hmm. What is a mortgage sale? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, mortgage. Do you see this often now? Mortgage sales. 
Oh, uh, hindi pa. <laughs> Tawa ng Diyos, hindi pa. Uh-huh. But um, of course, we're not, we, we, we don't want to pray for that, no? Bad naman mm. yun. Of course, we want everyone to be able to pay their mortgage and live in their own house with their family. That's mm. why the government came out with that uh, help na pwede ka muna to pay interest muna, di ba? Mm. Um, to help out for those who are not earning in, enough during the lockdown. So we're not here to to make that happen. But a mortgage sale, we have encountered that um, last year. Those are property na hindi na bayaran yung mortgage sa banko. Mm. So ang mangyayari, kukunin ng banko yung bahay, di ba? Ito Kasi ba yung narimata? Ito ba yung tama yung Tagalog, narimata? Oo, yun yun. Narimata, Oo. okay. So the bank will give it to the agent to sell it. Okay, mm. ang mortgage sale kasi the bank would only be uh, interested kung magkano yung utang mo sa kanya. Mm. You know. So uh, parang literally sinisipa ka palabas ng bahay, bibenta na yes. namin to. Oo. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> ang nakakatakot naman sa mortgage sale is uh, hindi ka pwedeng mag-inspection ng house eh because mm. yung hindi ka makakapasok. Bibili mo lang looking it looking at it from the outside. So parang as it is. As, as it is, oo. Okay. So pwedeng pagkuha mo ng bahay, pagkuha mo na, tinanggal na yung lababo o tinanggal na yung bathtub. Oh, hindi, okay. wala ang assurance na gano'n. Mm. Yeah. Because syempre, ang, ang tao, pag kinuha mo yung bahay nila, sasama naman ng loob nun. <laughs> hindi naman naalis yun ng, <laughs> iwan lang ng napagaganda para sa'yo. Di ba? Oo nga, no? Mm. Oh. Pero Tama. mga good deals yun, ha? Mm. Oo. Okay. Question again from Ate Alice. Uh, about pre-auction offer, unconditional. So, paano pag may problems ang bahay kung unconditional na? Binding na ba yun? Yes, of course. Okay. Once, okay. Alice, every time we said a property, if you buy a property subject, kunyari to finance, five working days, subject to builder's report, five working days. So, may kontrata ka na, no? Yung kontrata hmm. na yan, pupunta na yan sa lawyer mo. At mm. saka pupunta na rin dun sa mortgage broker mo. So if your your bank is um, kay, kay Rexiap, New Zealand Home Loans, they will receive a copy. So after that five days, they will be able to tell you, okay, at least na-approve ka. Okay, mm. and then yung, yung lawyer mo will say, okay, okay ka na. Yung builder's report mo, lumabas, um, okay na. So pwede na tayo mag-declare unconditional. Okay. So ang nag-declare ng unconditional is your lawyer. Because the lawyer will review the title, will review your contract, will be coordinating with your bank. Approve mm-hmm. na ba to? Okay na ba talaga to? May down payment. So the lawyer will not declare unconditional kung may mga alanganin. Mm-hmm. And that's why in buying a house pala dito sa New Zealand, you need an agent, you need your mortgage broker or your bank, and you need a lawyer. Unlike sa Pilipinas, we don't naman need a lawyer, di ba? Mm-hmm. Like magamit ng lawyer dito, Yung nagbebenta, may lawyer, at yung bumibili, may lawyer. So, dalawang lawyer na yun ang nag-uusap. So, okay. yung seller at yung buyer, protektado kayo. Mm. Speaking of lawyer, Thalina, so next week, gaya na pag-usapan, uh, yeah. next week, I'll, I nag-invite ako ng lawyer para yeah. discuss yung property, yung yeah. sale and purchase. So, I think mas marami siya masasagot in terms of the legal side. So, yes, of course. reserve natin yung mga questions natin for, for next week. Yes. Okay. And question from Joan. Um, good evening po. Pwede po ba ituloy ng anak yung mortgage ng tatay? Halimbawa na bili nung tatay yung house. Nasa pangalan ng tatay? Yes. So I think baka sa kausapin yung bank and yung lawyer na to, no? Kasi Oo. Oh. Oo. Oh, oh. no? uh, kung kung pag-aari na ng tatay tapos yung anak i-continue uh, I think ang ma- ang may involved na dyan is the bank and the lawyer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hindi na ahente yon, Kasi uh-huh. hindi mo naman ibibenta eh. Yes. Sa transfer mo lang sa name ng anak. Siyempre, okay. ang bank magtitingin pa rin yun kung kaya ba i-sustain ng anak yung, yung mortgage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, question from Lois. Hindi po ba magiging disadvantage ang buyer kapag nalaman ng seller na may agent ka? Kasi may additional fee sila sa agent ng buyer. Wala, wala ng additional fee. Mm. Walang nagbabayad. So let's say, Jean, you're my, uh, tatawagan mo, Athelina, let's look at houses. 
may nakita tayong house ang 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 agent was Ray White. Oh, so mag-offer tayo, no? Tutulungan kita, gagawin natin lahat. I'll I'll find out more about the house for you. And then pag nabenta na yung bahay, wala ka namang babayaran eh. Mm-hmm. Yung agent ng bahay na yon, yung kanya rin, Ray White agent ng bahay na yon, makukuha niya yung commission niya. Ko ano man yung commission nila nung may-ari, yun lang yun. Yun naman sila magta-top up, 'di ba? To baka isipin nila they will top up the commission to no, pay no, you, no. 'di ba? Hindi. Kasi commission di dun sa house na yon 15,000. Babayaran 15, ng may-ari ng bahay yung listing agent ng 15,000. 15,000 pa rin. Yung listing okay. agent, siya ang magbibigay sa amin. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, kung sasabihin ng listing agent, yeah, Ray White Manukaw, Athelina, bibigyan kita ng bibigyan ko opisina mo ng 20% of 15,000. So mm-hmm. yung 20%, yung Ray White Manuriwa ang magbabayad sa barefoot namin. Mm-hmm. Ni hindi nga kami agent agent eh. It's mm-hmm. company. Ray okay. White Manuriwa will get the money from the vendor, will pay barefoot the amount. So, okay. hindi kasali ang ang buyer and vendor dito. It's between okay. the agents to agents. Okay. Yeah. So, in short, no extra cost. No extra okay. cost. From any no. Kind. no. Yeah. Question from Bebom, uh, Thelina. Any tips on on how to know whether the listed price is overvalued or undervalued? How to spot a bargain? Oh, that's where we come in. Hmm. Kayo hindi nyo, you, you cannot go into that website eh. You know, but kami as agent, there is a website where we can go in and we can see. Mm-hmm. Like I said, you know, um, sayang, I don't have a sample here. But let's say, yung, bibigay mo lang sayang yung address. I can get in there, put the mm-hmm. address. It will all come out. Sino may ari ng bahay? Kailan niya binili? Uh, magkano niya binili? Uh, ilang kwarto yon? Anong mm-hmm. make ng bahay? Brick and tile ba yun? Um, weatherboard ba? Lahat yun, makikita ko. Mm-hmm. Then I will tell you, oh, ganito lang niya binili at this time. Yep. So, so yung contact dito si Talina nasa video natin. Ah. You can, yes. yung email, yeah, so yung mobile. So email me so, and mm. then I can email you all the information. I can send you all this booklet that we have. And again, that's mm. all for free. That will help you. So okay. before you buy a house, basa-basa lang sa bahay. No? Okay. Uh-oh. So, si Kuya Rex ulit sabi niya 80,000 daw yung limit sa home grant. I think in-answer niya lang yung question kanina. Oh. Now, question from G. Omori. I think this is interesting. Um, may question daw siya about confidentiality about the property. Mm-hmm. Are, are you able to find out about the house that, has, that had a history of crime scene like murder or suicide mm-hmm. of an owner or tenant? Would you know okay. that in the history? Okay. In the history, it won't say. Even at the LIM report, it won't say. But in our real estate institute, as an agent, this is for all agents uh, mm-hmm. in, in real estate here, we have to disclose if there's a murder. I have a property that I just sold in Manuriwa two months ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a murder on the driveway. Nagbarilan sila, kapit bahay. Mm-hmm. I have to disclose that. Hindi nangyari sa loob ng bahay. Pero nasa driveway ng bahay. So, when I know about it, I have to disclose it. So, maski hindi nila tarong yung Tilina, you have to tell it. Tama ba? Yes, I have to okay. say that. Mm. At the open home. Hindi ko ya advertise sa trade <laughs> yun. Ha? Pero, kina nga, pag pumunta ka yes. sa open home, tanongin mo na lahat. Mm. You know, bakit mm. binibenta? Oh, saan pupunta yung may-ari? Especially mga Pilipino, mapamahiin, oh. mga yeah. sa multo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Marami, maraming basta lumang bahay. Sasabihin ko, ah, it's a 40-year-old house. So mm. mga kaibigan natin, mga Filipino, ay ayaw namin. <laughs> kasi baka may multo. Ah, okay. Wala, walang multo. Pero kung gusto mo may multo, mas mataas ang babayaran mo. <laughs> Pero wala. Ayaw okay. Mo. Sa atin lang yata yun oh, eh. Oo, marami tayo masyado napapanood na movies. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, from Eric, good evening po. Ask ko lang kung may scammer ba na broker or mortgage advisor. Ah, maski meron Eric, I don't think may aamin. Okay? Anong, anong, anong tanong? <laughs> uh, kung may scammer ba na broker or mortgage advisor. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
O sabi doon at Alice Merendo insider trading daw sa housing market. Pero I think that's another topic altogether. So mm. <laughs> um, well, if if ever involve ang ahente, delikado 'yon because uh, that agent can lose their license. Mm. Mm. Bawal 'yon. At saka with the capital gains tax now, if you buy a property and you sell it in less than two years, it's a tax ke. Mm. So, how will you do that? Unless na hindi ka magsesetto. If you buy the, the house, now, papaayos mo. Hindi mo rin naman pwedeng paayos. Kasi dali. marami atang nasa news before na yung mga agents that they will flip houses, di ba? Yeah, yeah agents. that's so, yun. That I think yun. yun siguro yung uh, ni... Ano, ni uh, pero last uh, week kasi nagbago na yung rules, di ba? Na mm. you have to own the house for two years. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, mm. with that, yun, I think that's one reason bakit ginawa din ng government yun. Yeah. Protect, oo. Question from Maricel. Uh, Ma'am, sir, magkano dapat Kiwi Saver sa first-time buyer ng house? Uh, I think kay Kuya Rex na to na question, oh, di ba? Kay Kuya Rex na yan. Uh, question from Ate Alice. Wow, top, top fan natin sa Ate Alice. Uh, may sale and purchase ba din ba between parent and child? I think sa lawyer, lawyer na mag-answer nito Ate Alice, ha? we'll reserve that question for the lawyer. Ah, uh, yung 10 from Jake, yung 10% or 20% in deposit pwede na ba i-loan sa bank? Uh, again, this is uh I think Kuya Rex or the banks might can yeah. answer, mm-hmm. 'di ba? Ito, medyo uh, relevant. Uh, from Nicole, okay po ba ang terrace home na may timber frame? Oo oh, naman. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, from Marge Casado As far as I know, pwede titingnan. I mean, most comments at titingnan din yung bank yung capacity mo to pay based on your income. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. So, Michael Amador, Selena Noval is my favorite real estate agent. <laughs> wow. <Thank> you. <laughs> <laughs> diba? uh, thank you. From Sorongon, Michael. So, About buying a lot mm-hmm. to build a house, kailangan din po ba ng broker or builder or lender involved? When you buy But, a section, I think section in, then you build. Oh, walang, hindi na kailangan ng builder kasi wala naman bahay, eh, di ba? Section mm. 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 But um, you have to be very careful also kasi there are section na paano mo ipoposition ang pag-build ng house kasi baka tamaan yung mga piping sa ilalim. May mm. mga ganong instances yun eh. Mm-mm. So I'm not very aware of that but there are things that you have to check. Again, the bank will help you with that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Question from Marisol. Uh, hi po, would you recommend rent to own? May na bang rent to own sa New Zealand? Kalina? Dati Pero ngayon parang wala. Mga depending yun sa may-ari ng bahay. Kasi most of the houses now, it's being rented out, being managed by uh, a company. You know, so Ray White, Barfoot, sila ang nagmamanage. So when the when the owner of the house want to sell, they get another agent to sell the house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think But that's the you... last question, Talina. Yeah. Oh, so we've done really well with answering the question. <laughs> so thank you. And... I think for for your parting words, uh, Thelina, would mm-hmm. siguro how can you probably discuss to our viewers yung renting versus buying? I think that's the most common question, eh? Oh. Renting versus buying. So what what would you what would you say? Re- renting versus buying? Of course, if if you kung may naipon na kayo, maganda talagang bumili, di ba? Kasi ang ang rent pinapayaman mo lang yung may ari ng bahay. Kasi mm-hmm. ikaw nagbabayad ng mortgage niya eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kasi yung bayad mo sa rent, yun ang pinambabayad ng may-ari ng, ng landlord mo eh. Mm-hmm. So kung makakapag-ipon, and sa mga Filipino na client natin, hindi hindi ko napansin, hindi ko nakita na nagiging problema. Ang gagaling mag-ipon ng mga Pilipino. Minsan, mm-hmm. five years, mga three years, five years pa lang dito, nakakabili na ng bahay. Magaling mag-ipon ng Pilipino. Mm. Eh ang mga Pilipino ayaw talaga nagre-rent yan. Talagang kailangan bumili. So mm. ang advice ko lang is yung kagayang sinabi ko sa kanina Jean, 
Ang ang pagbili ng bahay lalo na dito sa sa New Zealand hindi hmm. na nating uh, hindi ka guys sa bansa natin no dito taga ipon talaga tayo uh, higpit sinturon nga yung sinasabi mm-hmm. wag kang matakot bumili ng first home na hindi kagandahan kasi mm-hmm. ang first home mo like i said hindi mo dream home yon mm-hmm. yun ang ang first home mo is your way out sa rental mm-hmm. okay so kahit kung sabihin ng ng lender mo hanggang 600 ka lang or 650 Okay lang maghanap tayo ng house na worth 600 na 650, 'di ba? Mm-hmm. Kasi after a year, after two years, tumaas na yung value ng bahay na yun eh. So mm-hmm. hintay mo lang. After three years, four years pag tumaas na, kausapin mo, magpa-review ka ulit kay Rex sa New Zealand Home Loans, sabi mo, "Okay Rex, baka naman pwede I can buy now a four bedroom house." Oh, 'di pag sinabi ni Kuya Rex na, "Oh, sige, pwede ka na sa 800." O benta natin 'to. Then That's when you find your dream house. Mm. Minsan ang dream house ika third house mo na eh. Mm. I know sa mga Pilipino, tayo mga Pilipino, uh, masyado tayo attach eh sa bahay. Pag binili, mm. parang habang buhay na 'yon eh na bahay mm. mo. Huwag ganoon. Yung bahay na bibili mo, yung first home mo kay two bedroom unit lang. Basta ma-afford lang, makaalis ka lang sa rental, okay na 'yon. Tapos mag-ipon na lang ulit. And then saka na natin ibenta and then bibili na tayo ng magandang bahay. Mm-hmm. 'Di ba? Pwede naman 'yun eh, magmo-move lang nang magmo-move 'yun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's a very good advice Kelina kasi especially oh. now na alam especially Auckland yes. and yung mga urban areas parang unaffordable na eh for yes. most people eh. So yes. talagang Of course, most of us, sino ba naman ayaw tumira ng isang brand new na bahay, 'di ba? Of Pero course, 'di ba? We just oh. have to be realistic for now kung ano yung kaya nating bigyan. Kaya na lang. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's a good advice yung talagang na you magsettle muna for something you can afford then yeah. you use that to build on your way up to your dream house, 'di ba? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, like one of my client no, yung yung afford lang niya na pera was pwede gusto malapit sa city eh. So Otahuhu, although we know na not- notorious area 'yon. Mm-hmm. Sabi, tas may pinakita siya sa aking bahay. Sabi niya, gusto ko to. Sabi ko, okay siya, pero Otahuhu 'yan eh. Sabi niya, mm-hmm. ano 'yung Otahuhu? Sabi ko, <laughs> parang sa atin parang tondo, ganoon. Tas mm-hmm. sabi niya, okay lang, taga tondo naman ako sa amin. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, on pala, hindi wala tayong problema, mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm. So, okay sa kanya 'yan. Tapos nung kinukumusta ko siya after year, sabi niya, sus wala naman 'tong mga 'to compared mm. sa mga gulo namin sa tundo. <laughs> you know, so does, it doesn't mean na pag sinabi mong uh, notorious area dito eh, sobrang notorious na yun. Eh, baka mm. yung mm. notorious dito eh, bali wala naman sa inyo, di ba? Mm. Mm. Tama. Yeah. Importante, so, bili lang ng bahay. And then, pag hindi ka happy, di benta mo. Andali naman eh. Mm. Pero ang hirap kasi nung nagre-rent jean kasi, with the landlord anytime pwede ka nilang paalisin eh. Mm. Di ba? Minsan isang taon ka pa lang doon magde-decide na yung may-ari. We have to sell the house. Mm. So lipat ka na naman. Mm. Ilang beses mangyayari 'yun. Ang hirap. You know, mm. it's very very stressful. Oh. So kung kaya, kung may naman ipon, kung may ma maumpisahan kahit maliit lang, kahit two bedroom unit lang, umpisahan niyo na, di ba? And then mm. work hard and then you just ano buy later again you sell and then buy again okay mm-hmm. um, uh, thank you very much Talina for for uh, for all your insights for thank all you. your advices for your expert knowledge in the real estate industry maraming salamat uh, mm-hmm. on behalf of Bagsiklo maraming salamat and hopefully this will not be the last no it won't and uh, every time um kung hindi na tayo lockdown and we can um, be in your office or in Rex office, um, I can bring all the materials and we can give them away. And okay. that way it will be helpful. Okay. Asi, alam ko mahirap ito eh. Mamaya mm. bukas makakalimutan niyo na yung mga pinag-usapan natin. But if you have those booklet, it's easy eh. You can just read them and we mm. we can give you that. Marami naman kami pwede ibigay from Barfoot that would help. Mm-mm. Okay. Again, yeah. so Maraming salamat ulit. I mean, I can't thank you enough. But again, thank you, Jean, for <laughs> the, us. And uh, for for our viewers, uh, thank you again for uh, watching. I hope maraming kayo natutunan. And of course, as much as possible, Filipino lang yun invite ko. Not because I don't want to speak in English, uh-huh. 
It's uh-huh. because I think mas effective na oh. ma-impart ma- natin yung knowledge natin to our fellow kababayans sa ating uh, lingwahe, di ba? Of course, oo. So, so I think mas effective talaga pag uh, mm-hmm. kapwa-Pilipino din ang nabibigay information sa kapwa-Pilipino. Oh, so, tsaka parang pag Pilipino sa Pilipino, parang nakakahiya talagang gumawa ng kasalanan eh, di ba? Mm, mm. <laughs> so talagang ano eh, parang konsensya mo na yun eh, kung yeah. lulukohin mo pa kapwa Pilipino. Napakalit ng community. Naman, diba? <laughs> so, di ba? So, oh. every, all, almost everyone knows everyone sa atin. Exactly. Oo. So, so, tulungan lang talaga. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, with that, um, again, thank you and good evening to everyone. Okay. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you. <laughs>